So we're back with part two. This will be a short part of lesson seven. So we've got a whole bunch of pull requests. Kapil, that's great. I see you did an update and you use the commands, which is great. So you've got a nice descriptive commit message. So if you have an outstanding pull request, so Justin, Janelle, Rachel, if you wanna go ahead and complete that, so make a new pull request and merge it into the master branch, then I'll make sure that I have an updated copy and then I'll wanna do another pull request. Thank you, Justin, so there's your merge. And as the owner of the repository, GitHub emails me now, I may wanna turn this off because this can get a bit overwhelming, but at least I can see that people's changes are emerged. Are emerge. Git gives you these notifications. I can see the commit messages. So if I wanna stay on top of what's happening. Now, I don't know if you're, yes, I'm gonna do that in just a second, Justin, yeah. So if you get tired of these emails, you can unsubscribe from the thread which you may want to do. So Justin, I'll do that in a minute. I just want it to complete the pull requests. That's odd. Um, let me check my mic volume. Maybe I'm just not talking loudly enough. Uh, hang on a second. Weird, I didn't change anything. Okay, sounds fine for you. Let me just stop my share for a second. Ah. Okay, hang on. I'll see if I can turn it up. Weird, because the input level's at max volume. Okay, I'll remove the background noise as well. Maybe that'll help. But it is, it is on max. All right, so we're all merged. So Justin, yes, you said you wanna see the commands to sync again. So we've got Rachel's last pull request, which is good. How's my volume now? Feel free to give me some idea if you can hear me. If I need to speak louder, I will. Normally, people don't usually tell me to speak up. <laughs> okay, is it okay now, Nick? Okay, good. All right, so I've pushed again to the rich branch. So I want to go back to the master branch and do a pull. So the commands we need are git checkout master. Um... Not sure why I got this, just a second. I need to see what this is telling me. Bear with me for a second, wasn't expecting that. Okay, we could use a force. Ah, so it wants to switch. Um, all 
I just want to decide which one of these I want to do. <laughs> Okay, works for you, that's good. I'll try git checkout minus F for force. Okay, and then I'll git pull. So I again downloaded the changes again. So git checkout master and git pull. So now I have an updated version. Okay, so Rudia, I'm gonna show you, rather, I'm just gonna demonstrate this. So let's say now I wanna create a style sheet. Um, so I want a new branch that's a copy of the master branch. I think Rudia, that's what you were thinking of, right? So I need the, I wanna take that mat working version, but not touch it, and I wanna work on it. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is create a new branch mm -hmm. and I'm going to merge the master branch into it. Yeah. So uh, don't okay. do you this. Know? I'm just going to do this. So I'll do git branch. We'll say design. I think now if I do git Uh, check out design and then I can merge the master branch in. Okay, actually, I think when I checked out design, when I, when I created the branch, I think it automatically creates it from the master. We'll see. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go back here. So now I have all the files. I'm gonna make a new CSS file, let's say. And maybe I'll set the font family to Arial. So I've added the style sheet. And now I also want to add this to rich.html. So I've added a style sheet to one of my HTML files. So now I want to upload the design branch. So I'll add I'm not going to add the style sheet to every file. You get the idea. And then I'll push from the origin to the new branch called design. And now I've made changes in the design branch. Again, I can merge them. So it shows that I added the new the new file as well as added code to an existing file. So I'll create one more pull request. There's no conflicts and I can merge.
So now if you want those changes, you want to download my changes, which will include the style sheet. Again, you can check out the master branch and do another git pull. And then you should have the style sheet as well. Um, uh, but we don't there have are the some other resources. There are some other tutorials both on YouTube on the GitHub site about merging and branching. But I think this should, I, I hope this was helpful in terms of being able for your team to work on your project over the rest of the semester. Use branches, use pull requests and merging. So that way you can work collaboratively this way and you're not just committing everything to the master branch. Okay, so I have recorded this. The commands you need are here. I'll update this with a few of the other commands as well. So to sync changes from GitHub to your computer, use git checkout master and git pull. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording for today. The only other thing I want to do today is just um, I'm going to create the breakout groups. I think now I know what I did wrong last week. You should be able to move yourself into the proper breakout group, one, two, three, four, or five. Um, and I just want to have a quick check in with each team, what your plan is and how things are going for assignment three. And then that's it for today.